Good morning. We are so happy that you're here. We daily vlog. <laughs> of course, right when I start this clip, the baby starts to fuss. Um, so if you like this video, come back every day. So another day, just getting back into the swing of things. I think that a lot of the kinks in Peter's work day have worked themselves out. And so he'll probably be like more like full force work mode today. So fingers crossed all goes well with the two the two little ones actually there's three little ones jamesy took off mid clip and i had to follow him okay yeah we can call her we can call her so teddy is back to snoozing jamesy and i are gonna do some coloring i guess um and i know it's only thursday but we do have a busy weekend ahead of us so today will probably be spent getting ready for that Oh, what do you say, Mr. Sassy Pants? Let's have a good day. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> One of our little favorite snacks, which is toast with honey and like cinnamon spices on it, and watching some bluey. Oh, nice yawn! Is he not looking bigger every single day? He's like not a little newborn anymore. So, I will say, you know, 24 hours post James getting the COVID vaccine. He's been a little like clingy and a little like, just kind of like, I wouldn't say he's uncomfortable, but almost just like he wants comfort. And that could be like any other day. Um, so yeah, I think like overall, like reaction was very minimal. So that is great. We are gonna take it a bit easier today just because we don't know if James is feeling anything that he can communicate to us um, we might go outside it's really really nice out but again just kind of want to like take it easy not overdo it whoa we're doing back-to-back -back diaper changes right now um, but I am trying to think of some more just like different activities for James and I to do during the day even something that he could do on his own like ball pit um, we've been really into coloring I want to look some stuff up online so if I find anything that I like I will let you know but also leave any suggestions below I'm just he loves his toys he truly loves his toys whenever he comes home he gets so excited to see his toys but it is just nice to have like a new thing to go do and start and he's leaving with a marker without a cap on. The following was style. <laughs> James imitating Peter doing that was the sweetest. James even though he did a nap. James is holding a family strike against nap time and bedtime. <laughs> No, we were hoping it's a 24 hour Strike protest. Yeah, he doesn't like something we did, maybe. And he's, he's letting us know through his right. <laughs> we need a snack, and it's almost Friday, so um, we're celebrating almost being done with the first week of returning back to work. And also going to try to trick him into taking a nap by walking to Jewel in the stroller for some charcuterie and Red Bulls. We got some fruit. We found these ruffles that are like spicy dill yeah, pickle. Yeah, perfect chance to, to rhyme say we got some fruit and some shakut. Oh, look at that. Fruit and shakut. That's the name of the vlog right there. Yeah. We got some stuff for, to snack. Trying to figure out where we're going to eat this stuff because we want to like be outside, but also not in the sun. I also almost wouldn't even mind just eating on that brick right there. 
These are good. They are? I'm gonna devour it. I'm like on the verge of hangry. So he just left the most perfect bench. So we're gonna race. Do we see anybody else yeah, going for it? The babies are both asleep. So we might have like a mom and dad little snack date. Yeah. Here's the setup because James is still asleep and this bench we found is very slanty. He stirs. So we've got soprasada with mozzarella rolls. We got salami, cheddar, mozzarella, watermelon, yeah, so fresh. and so some Red Bulls. We just acknowledge the fact that we've been here for like 45 minutes and realized we probably should have done a time lapse, a couple of different angles. You could have seen people riding bikes, going on walks, the beautiful like short drive. But instead, we just chit chatted. But guess what? That's what happens sometimes. It was a little date. Yeah, I thought I could have brought the drone. Left. Yeah, didn't bring our phones, didn't bring nothing. For Except for the babes. Yeah, thanks. There's a family over there, the cute dog on a picnic. This is great. This is this is just so nice. <laughs> the whole reason we ventured all the way out to the harbor was so that I could put my feet in the grass and I almost forgot. I just gonna ground myself, you know? So a lot of times we show this like in quick clips while Peter goes on runs, but here's like a good view of this cute little painting when we walk under Lakeshore Drive. But mainly this, Sailboat Chicago flag. If you ever hear about Dementors in Chicago, come <laughs> guys. This is both like a great and a bittersweet thing. I'm watching the ABD loop because I just need it in my heart. It also makes me miss a Disney resort room. But I love that uh, I can watch this ABD with my baby here. Oh, we dropped the binky. Much better. Get to watch ABD video right now, holding my little sweet baby here. One day we're gonna go on an ABD. What? Sleeping baby, so adorable. Sleeping baby, so adorable? Still sleeping? He's been asleep since like 4.30. It's 7.30. Oh, sleeping big baby. <laughs> this is for me. Dinner. For you. For me. And then. Um, we had other stuff. Yeah. On our to do list. But what is it? All of a sudden, I'm net trapped. Oh, and I just got him in the duct tape. I'm not good at transferring him to the duct tape. <laughs> okay, it's after eight o'clock. James is awake. Teddy might be going back to sleep. Will we be up all night? Potentially. Um, but anyways, James is in great spirits and he probably, he probably needed it. So we'll see how it goes. He just ran away now because he's been really good with markers. However, now he's learned how to open markers and sometimes the caps don't always make their way back on. So a lot of the markers got dried out. So Peter was replenishing his marker stash. Um, he's also really into Tangled right now. He just laughed so hard with Rapunzel smacking um, Flynn Rider in Are the you head. Are a vlogger? <laughs> Jamesy's reaction to the end of Tangled. Isn't everybody as enthusiastic about pasta as Jamesy? I was very concerned going into bedtime with James. I thought it was looking bleak. He had slept for four hours, which is longer than how long he slept last night in his longest stretch. Um, it took a while, but he like, didn't fight it. He was very like cuddly, but he wasn't was fighting it. But Right, and that was better than last night where he was fighting it. Anyway, we have yesterday on, said it was like organizing, but it's gonna be a two part vlog. So, it's good to be home for this part. Good morning, we're so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. Starting our day with smoothie time. So, I took the initial clip of James with the smoothies uh, before I really had known what happened today. 
am home. Peter just left to go to Federal Plaza in downtown Chicago um, in protest of the decision to overturn Roe versus Wade today. I'm gonna try not to be emotional. I'm gonna try to be eloquent and simple with how I'm feeling. Perfect word I think is infuriated. Um, I think it's really difficult that something like that can this can happen today and then um, we're expected to go on with our normal life like Peter had meetings and um, just in general like it's a really exhausting um, day and I mean I'm exhausted because I am a mother I chose to become a mother I had to make more of a choice because I wasn't able to um, to conceive a child on my own. And so, we are pro-choice beyond just IVF and, you know, we point out that we decided to say goodbye to Sweet Pea with an abortion. We chose that. I was given the option to do nothing, which is what will be legal. Um, which if your body decides not to do it, can lead to death. Um, you can, I got the choice to use a pill to let them leave my body. And that wasn't something that I felt um, was proper for our family. We wanted to say goodbye in the most peaceful and graceful way. And so I had a DNC, which is an abortion. And so even just those things like if, if you know me and you love us and you love people who have had the choice to have an abortion. However, that is not where our support of abortion stops. It is um, just one other area that is at risk with this decision. Taking away body, bodily autonomy is horrific and um, anybody telling you what what you can do with your body is not something that we support um, and so we feel compelled today to speak about this um, and obviously Peter is going I am staying home with these two little ones just for safety but this child was an embryo frozen along with his other siblings who some are still frozen and some could not stay with us but I meant what I said when I wanted to keep this simple I'll let the speakers and whatever Peter captures do most of the talking um, I think this is scary just as it's been a precedent for so long and other things that aren't other aspects of our um, of our freedom in this country, other elements of people's livelihoods that felt safe and secure no longer do. Um, and what I encourage our viewers to do is to have a loving heart, have an open mind, um, take into consideration that that this is a very complex situation and it certainly can have a domino effect. Yeah? I love you. I, I needed that. Oh, thank you, honey. Thank you, honey. And just as much as you would have empathy for Peter and I um, during our journey to grow our family, um, Medically, my my uterus was a hostile environment that we knowingly placed life into. Um, try to have empathy for other women and childbearing people that would have to make the extremely difficult choice um, to not carry on with the pregnancy, and that, like, truly in any any situation, having empathy and having an understanding for others um, is so simple and that is tr truly just as, as humans like is 
isn't the minimum that we can do is be kind to others. So, and that kindness even applies to extremely difficult situations. I have been feeling hopeless about all of this. Um, I feel, I just feel like right now, very few people are controlling many, but deep down, Peter and I are hopeful people. We believe in good, we believe in um, taking action and doing the right thing, so as you know, as much as it does take effort to do your research, reach out to representatives, um, learn about who you're voting for, especially like in your local elections, that is more important than ever. And as much as my hope has been gone today, it's something that this experience can actually like reinstate my hope because so many people denied that electing someone as chaotic as Donald Trump as president would have these long-lasting effects. They denied that anything um, of this extreme would happen. Um, and clearly we're seeing the effects of that. Um, is him appointing Supreme Court justices and, you know, however, whatever more ex examples that you need. Um, but in that same way, that works the other way. So we have to remember that our voices can be heard and are important and um, as much as we shouldn't have to fight for these rights, um, it's certainly worth it. Interesting view of a protest ending and dispersing in mass. So I think Sarah touched point on it, but not a good day in the United States. Um, I came out to protest down in Chicago. So Sarah stayed home with the kids. Um, this probably won't be the last protest. This won't be the last time you hear the Brookhart's talk about this. This won't be the last time you hear Americans talk about this. It's going to continue um, until this gets codified. For everybody out there, work cards are here if you need somebody to talk to or vent and just be kind to one another. All right, what a Friday. Um, funny enough, Sarah, Teddy, and I all put James down to sleep um, tonight. So that was kind of fun, a little different. Uh, we put James to sleep. We are going to have an ice cream party because I did some emotional shopping on the way home from the protest at Target and they got um, some ice cream. So I'm going to put away dinner, which we still haven't put away yet. And then we're going to have a little, little ice cream party in our bedroom with Teddy while James is asleep. Then we're going to go to bed. We have a big day tomorrow. We have a concert. I don't know if we've said this, but we have a concert. We're going to see our main man, Andrew McMahon, tomorrow in at Notre Dame. So... Um, it's weird to have like the weekend feels back after being off for four weeks. They're like, ah, oh, it's the weekend. Um, but there's another protest tomorrow in Chicago. I think their intent is to con just continue it as, as long as they can. I don't know if we'll get to make it. Um, but what I will do is we will spread the news of both Orlando and Chicago protests that we find. And the links, a couple of those links are like also list national protests across the nation um but we can't can't let this go can't let it continue can't let it not be talked about so that's like i said earlier won't be the last time you hear the brookards talk about this
that makes you uncomfortable, I guess it makes you uncomfortable. But it's part of our daily life and we daily vlog. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.